Yes, welcome to our demonstration video. I'm called Kamanga James. I'm going to take you. Uh, I'm going to take you through the main system components of a solar power irrigation system uh, and their use. Why we need them and where you install them or where they are located. Yeah, in my background, you can see our just installed sprinkler irrigation system, medium sprinklers. There are different types of sprinklers. They also come in different uh, in different uh, types. We have gear type and we have impact type and other sprinkler types. But those are the two main uh, sprinkler types. So we have installed a fixed sprinkler irrigation system. Uh, they are going to be used to irrigate different crops here in one part of Uganda uh, for privacy of our clients. We may not mention our client unless we get authority uh, from them. So um, we are going to start with the main system components, then their use. Yeah, um, maybe before I continue, we have uh, our water source because in all irrigation systems, you will need a water source. Our water source is uh, a drilled deep borehole. We shall see it later. Um, let me first show you the way we are generating power. So those are our solar panels. We have installed a total of 18 in number. Each panel is uh, is 300 watts. Um, so we are generating direct current or solar energy, and it's converted to to it's converted to AC. We are having an AC pump. The reason why you need an AC pump, we are going to see later when we go to inside the pump house. We're also going to see. Some other components inside. Um, yes, now from the solar panels, we have cables down there. You can see those pipes. Uh, those pipes have um, cables, electric cables, and the GI pipe you're seeing, or a silver pipe, is a, is a delivery pipe that takes water up to the irrigation system. Let me take you to the pump house. We see the main components there. And so we bring power from the solar panels uh, passing underground through uh, one of the pipes. And then that power comes through those cables up to uh, some such protective devices here. And then this is a circuit breaker, a circuit breaker and a switch. The, the, the such protective devices uh, help protect um, electronics in our inverter in the case there are such charges. So this is our inverter. It converts directly the DC current or DC power to AC to be able to run the pump. Yeah, uh, at the moment we are generating a power of 1 point, uh, approximately 1.6 kilowatt from our panels out of a maximum of 5.4. So uh, the reason why you need to install, maybe you have to size your system past the actual system requirements or what the pump requires, so that even during cloudy days, you can still do the irrigation. Uh, so power from the inverter will come through cables up to our water pump. Yeah, this is our surface booster pump. Uh, now on the booster pump, we have different components. Um, we have a, a pressure switch. That's our pressure switch. This black one. Then that is a pressure gauge. The pressure switch helps to switch off the pump automatically. Uh, just in case there is a, a system, like system pressure build up past the set pressure. Let me just demonstrate how it works. So I'm going to increase system pressure by closing. But you have to close slowly. So we set uh, the system pressure to a maximum of five bars. So in case all valves are closed, or if less valves are open, the pump will automatically be switched off. Yeah, when the pressure reaches the set maximum pressure, the pump will automatically be switched off. That is to protect the pump from, from damaging the system components inside. And also, 
uh, prevent uh, bursting of pipes and fittings. So this pipe here gets collects water from gets water from the reservoir tanks. Let's we are going to go outside and see, but I can show it to you. Uh, those are our tanks, but we are going to go outside and see clearly. Yeah, those are our reservoir tanks. We have two tanks. Each is 10,000 liters. Uh, we are pumping water from a deep well, as I mentioned earlier. We shall see the deep well. So here on our suction pipe, or the pipe that takes water from the tanks, we have this pipe, this black pipe. Now this black pipe inside has a wire. This wire connects to connects to um, a water level switch that we have installed inside the tank. The water level switch switches off the pump automatically through the inverter. That's in case um, the water level goes past the water level switch. That is to prevent the pump from running dry, uh, to prevent damage of impellers and other system components. Uh, this is just a tank base, just to keep the tank stable and also to have the gravity flow. So uh, we have interconnected these tanks. This, this is the interconnection. The tank uh, empties at the same time or at the same rate and also fills at the same rate. So this is our inlet. We shall see um, our water source. This is our inlet. So down there, some distance from here, about uh, 200 meters between the two sprinklers is a walkway where you can easily pass or maybe have a wheelbarrow when you want to apply uh, fertilizers and the rest. So you may ask why these two sprinklers are closed. Uh, this is just a valve box, just in case you want to operate this line, you can uh, you can open it from the valve box. And then uh, you, will, you will allow water to go through that lateral. You also have some other sprinklers running down there. Actually, we have three lines running. So uh, when we are designing sprinkler irrigation system, I uh, just give you a brief information on how we size and uh, um, how we space. The spacing uh, depends on the throw radius of the sprinkler and maybe the nose we have installed. And then uh, one design consideration is that system should have pressure um, that the manufacturer will specify or your pumping system should be able to generate that pressure within that range that is specified by, by the manufacturer and also the flow rate because in irrigation uh, the main design consideration is the uniformity and how the water uh, the, the water is sprayed along the length of the sprinkler uh, such so that you don't have non-uniformities whereby some crops grow faster than others and from a distance we can also see our some solar panels down there, those generate power, power um, a solar pump installed down the wall that we're going to see. Yeah, here we are having our water source. Uh, those are the panels that generate power that runs a DC pump that we have installed in the well. And we have also connected an earthing and retaining arrestor system such that our panels or our other system components here are not struck by the lightening effects. So our drilled borehole is down here. So we did a geological survey to determine uh, the best drilling point according to uh, geophysics and some other some other considerations. So this wire takes power to the solar pump we have installed down there, and this is. Uh, this is our fresh valve in case in in the future you need to um, you need to pick a water sample. Let's see what is happening here. So the pump is currently pumping water up the reservoir tanks we have seen. In case uh, you need more information. Um, actually, we can advise at no 
at no cost because our main aim is to provide with you a service so you can reach us via you can reach us via the website on our website uh, you can also reach us via email at info at wazeengineering.com or via our website at www.wazeengineering.com um, or via phone call uh, our office line is positive 256 393 225 or you can reach us via our WhatsApp line um, or our mobile contact via positive 256 um, 759 790 556 yeah thank you very much for watching uh, you can still watch our other demo videos about other methods of irrigation like drip like movable sprinkler irrigation like impact sprinkler uh, systems and other technologies